You gotta keep hydrated. So what's up everybody? Finn here from Finn Vips. And it is 2017 now. So hope you all had a good new year. We left 2016 behind us. And we're now gonna go start looking towards 2017. So, like I said, it has so far been a good year because we've got our first fate mail of January 2017. And it comes in, like I say, oh, nice little golden Kind of like a, what's them puppet sheets called? You know my brain's not working today, so we're just going to move straight off from that. Polyester, is this polyester? I don't know, them little air puppet things anyways. But as per usual, you get a really nice package, turns up fully secure. And in this nice little gold packet is five 20ml bottles of juice, 100ml in total, for £19.99. And that is the subscription service fape-mail.co.uk provides. They do do other services as well, such as the Silver, which is £9.99 a month, Platinum, which is £34.99 a month, Platinum XL, which is now £49.99 a month, and everything that all includes will be in the link in the description below, as well as a discount code to get yourself 15% off if you subscribe. So, let's check out. So I don't know what flavours these are, never do. So how it works is, Fate Mail, Mike from Fate Mail, what he does is he gets the concentrates from the companies, he makes the juice up, he picks five juices which he thinks is suited for that month or which people would like puts them together sends them straight out your door and you get in a nice little gold packet each month so like i said it is the fourth of january and we've got a little cheat card we didn't have one last month so i think i've generally forgot but we do have a little cheat card january 2017 so we will refer to this to speed up the video a little bit because they can go on a little bit long whoa that one's dark and there is our five 20 mil bottles. So let's just line them up. So the first one on the list is Tiki Raw by Flavor West. So if you don't know, you can't really see it because the camera doesn't do all the focus, I'm afraid. On these bottles, there's initial. At the beginning, initial, that gives you the name of the juice company. So FW is Flavor West. And it is Tiki Raw we're going to check out. So if you really like a juice, you can then go back to Fate Mail's website and you can buy the juice at a discounted price again for a period of, I think it's two months, after the box. 3 milligrams of nicotine, 80 PG, 20 PG. Best before date, 2019. So these will last quite a while. Let's give it a quick shake. So, we're going to have a quick smell first. It smells very tropical. I'm picking up on kind of a, like a, it's not a pineapple, but it's like a mango. It's definitely got that kind of a tropical vibe to this one. So let's have a quick read of Tiki Raw. Actually, it is a pineapple. <laughs> Tiki Raw is a tropical fruit mix of pineapple, peach, cherry, with a hint of coconut. Now, I like coconut. But I'm not picking any coconut in that. Yeah, I could pick up the cherry in the back end. It's like a candy cherry. So let's get it soaked in. So we are going to use our Lost Fape Firon DNA 75 Watt mod for this. We're going to use our Endless Clouds Dripper RDA. Now we've got that fixed, kind of. Let's get that soaked in. Standard Camphor. And some fantastic cotton. Now, started using this cotton. This cotton is absolutely amazing, especially for checking out flavors. Fusion cotton. It's super absorbent. Absolutely fantastic. So that's soaked in perfectly. So 0.2 ohms, 50 watts. Let's have a fit on Tiki. So yeah, smooth, smooth, no irritation whatsoever. So this one's a bit of a weird one for me. I don't think I'm a massive lover of it. Maybe it's because I don't like pineapple and straight away, I'm definitely picking up that pineapple. 
and it's got like a weird aftertone afterwards. The cherry kind of comes through, but I'm not really picking up the coconut. But it's a smooth juice. I don't know. I might come back to that one. It might be better in a tank. So we're going to get all the wicks changed. We'll be right back. We will check out flavor number two. Flavor number two. Now this one I've actually faped in the past in the Ye Olde Vapory and it is absolutely fantastic. I don't even need to have a look at the menu for this one. EV is Exceptional Vapes and this is Raspberry Pancake Toss. So I believe it's just Pancake Toss he's calling it. Is it Pancake Toss? Well it's Raspberry Pancake Toss now. But the Pancake Toss, you get this really, if I remember rightly, you get this really nice pancake. Like a golden fluffy kind of pancake taste for it. It's got a really nice tone. And this one, obviously, the raspberry. You get this nice kind of raspberry sauce experience. So straight away, yeah. You're getting that kind of... It's like an American maple pancake you get straight away. It's got a really nice nice kind of smell. Like, if you've got some maple syrup and you put it on a pancake, that's the smell you get from the pancake. And then you've got that tiny... Like, say, it's like a tiny hint. That'll come back out, because Exceptional Vapes do some really nice juices. This one, I'm looking forward to. This would probably be an all day vape for me. But that smells gorgeous, that smells absolutely fantastic. Now I'm a big lover of Exceptional Vapes. Have been for a while. Let's give it a quick vape. 0.2 zero ohms, 50 watts. Yeah, that is a Moorish all day vape for me. Yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. Let's just unlock this a second, put it at 60, because this will probably be best at 60 watts, which we usually do. Much better. It's nice. It is a Moorish vape. Really, really smooth, no irritation whatsoever, and packs a lot of flavor. Like I said, straight away on the inhale, you get that kind of maple syrup, like a Canadian maple syrup on some kind of, like French pancakes. If you get them tiny little French pancakes from your supermarket, and you, put, you put them in the microwave, you put a little bit of maple syrup on, you get that warm kind of sweet kind of fluffiness to the pancake. That's what you're getting. That's the best way to describe it. And then on the exhale, you pick up a little bit of that raspberry, and that just, that just tops it up. Now, this will be nice with a little bit of cream in as well. Just to tie it all over, cream, raspberry sauce, and pancake, and that would just be, it might be a little bit too sweet. But if you're a lover of pancake vapes, this one you would absolutely love, exceptional vapes. Yeah, and that is just pure bliss. That one, that one is nice. So let's check out another one, we'll keep going. Okay, so this one is DD. DD, I believe is Dark Delight. Let's have a quick look. I've got hiccups now. I'll have a quick drink as well. DD, DD, DD. It's not Dark Star, it's not that. It's got a, it's got a lion head. Yeah, V2V Dark Delight. So we try to flavor out them in the past, and they do some nice juice as well. So, this one is kind of interesting, because if it's done right, it's going to be nice. If it's done wrong... It's not. So, it's a really hard flavor profile as well, so they took a quite good risk on this. It's chocolate orange. Like the chocolate oranges, Terry's chocolate oranges, I'm assuming it's going to be like. But chocolate is a hard one, and so is orange. Combining the two. Yeah, so when you smell this, you're getting a bit like a Jaffa cake. That's what you smell. It's very much like a Jaffa cake. It hasn't got a natural chocolate smell though. It's kind of, it's like a bitter chocolate. That's what it smells like. But it does. It smells like a Jaffa cake. That's what it smells like. So what it says, it says, another absolutely scrummy treat. Chocolate and orange flavored mixed to perfection. But it does. It smells good. So let's get that soaked in. Let's give that a whirl. The orange on there, the citrus side of the orange is quite strong though. It's got a really strong... Let's just tone it down to that side. 60 watts, 0.2 zero ohms. I 
That's that's just unusual. On the inhale, you get like a kind of a, you get like a bitter tangy orange taste, and on the exhale, the chocolate like, smooths it over. It's not. I'm not picking up like a synth. It's got a little bit of a synthetic taste to it, but not a bad one. It's got a. It's unusual. It's different. I've never tried it before. Me personally, that will get a bit sweet and a bit sickly quick, but it works. It does work. Now, if you like Jaffa cakes, this is what this reminds me of. It definitely reminds me. It tastes. It smells and tastes like a Jaffa cake. We get without the fluffy kind of a about the little sponge kind of base the Jaffa cakes have. You're just getting the kind of a the the orange tangy jelly in the middle with the chocolate around it. It's different. Possibly could be it could be nicer in the tank, but that will get very sweet, kind of <coughs> very sweet, quick. And the chocolate once again, the chocolate's starting to get a little bit rough on me now, as we're drying it out. So, but yeah, it definitely tastes like a Jaffa cake. So that is different. That is definitely different. So, we'll get the witch change and we'll check out another flip. Oh, I found a typo. I found a typo. So, if you're watching this, Mike, I found a quick little typo in relation to massive melons. You have it down as tit sauce. And it is actually done. I had to do a little bit of research. It is actually done by Drip Hacks. So, we're going to check out massive melons by Drip Hacks. Like I say, 3 milligrams. These are all 3 milligrams of nicotine, 80 Fiji. A blend of watermelon. Honeydew melon, lychee, and grapes. So the description's right, the name's right, just the logo's not. So lychee with melon, that's different. That sounds different. Yeah, so you can smell, you smell a bit of the kind of a, the grape in the background there as well. You pick up the lychee, because the lychee gives you that kind of like a little watery kind of smell to it, with the fruit. Tiny bit, I'm picking up the tiny, but more what I'm picking up is the honeydew melon. I hate honeydew melon. <laughs> so let's get that soaked in. Yeah, I'm not a lover of honey. I like watermelon. But this one, I'm thinking this one's going to surprise us though because of the lychee and the grape. I think it's going to counteract the honeydew melon. Let's give it a hit. 0 0.2 zero ohms, 60 watts. Ooh, ooh, now I do like that. I do like that indeed, that is smooth, really smooth. Wow, that's just different, that's different. On the inhale you pick up a tiny little bit of the melon. And the watermelon combined, you get the melon kind of tone to it. But on the exhale, as it's going out, you pick up on the lychee straight into the grape. It gives it kind of a really refreshing tone to it and a really smooth finish. Yeah, that would be an all-day vape. It's got tiny, subtle, little, little, tiny... I think there's like a little cooling kick to the back end as well. That is nice. I could vape that all day. Definitely vape that all day. That is this different. You're not getting like massive like amount of melons. You're getting more of the kind of the lychee and the grape. The melon's more of kind of like a, a baseline flavour in it. And it's not a black grape either. It's not like a candy grape, which you find in a lot of the grapes now. It all seems to be using like a Caribbean black grape kind of tone to it. This one's like a green, a fresh green grape. That is nice. That is really nice. That is definitely refreshing. That's definitely cleansed my palate. I do like that. So the last one we're going to check out is going to be Tropical Tilt. So what we're going to do is, instead of changing the whip, We'll just put that on top because we have checked out Tropical Till by Tit Sauce in the past. This one smells different this time though, compared to what I remember. It smells different. So that's a good thing about this cotton as well, is you can just pretty much blow it off and put another flavour on it. You don't get any cross kind of flavour there. It's really nice cotton. So Tropical Tilt by Tit Sauce. It 
tastes like tilt. It tastes like lilt, sorry. But it's called tropical tilt. You're definitely getting that kind of Caribbean infused kind of soda, a bit of pineapple in there, a little bit of citrus. It's not identical, it does have a sweet tone to it, but it is nice tropical vape. It's definitely changed since the last time I tried it. They seem to change the flavour and the profile around a little bit more, so you definitely get more of a kind of a Caribbean kind of taste to this. But it's blended in a way I can't pick out the flavours identically, like each one. But it <coughs> <coughs> oh, <coughs> coughing there. It's all the bloody cloud. Still getting over a cold. But if you pick up like a kind of tilt and hadn't had a vape, you wouldn't really notice a difference. Get a little bit of pineapple in there. A little bit, I think it's got a little bit of passion fruit. I'm not 100% sure the whole entire profile of the tropical lilt, but it definitely does taste like it. It's quite nice. So yes, thank you Mike for sending this over, and Happy New Year everyone. Hope you enjoyed this review of this month's Fate Mail. So like I said, check out all the description in the bottom below. All the links will be there, as well as the discount code, as well as on this video as well, I believe at the top there more than likely. So, until then, stay safe, vape happy, I'm going to vape your cloud out. And like I said, definitely subscribe, really good service, I've never been disappointed. And like I said, there's some nice flavours in this one, especially that pancake toss, definitely my favourite. So until then, see you all later.